Assalamu alaikum, welcome to 18 Bangla. This is Afifa Farish Khan with the news first, these will be headlines. Myanmar has increased troops mobilization in border for internal security, says BGP to BGP during flag meeting. An easy camp prevails along Tumbru border in Bandarban. Myanmar's troop deployment aims at driving out the Rohingyas from zero flight, resume analysts exerting pressure through even suggested. Point pressure on the government persists regarding the election and Khalil Zia's conviction, says BNP. Rally in the capital she scheduled on 12th of March. And three MPs of Jatiya Party would resign from the cabinet within a few days, says Irshad in Rangpur. Now on to the details. Myanmar has increased troops mobilization in border for internal security. This was stated by the Myanmar Border Force BGP to BGP during flag meeting held at Ghum Dhum border at the request of Bangladesh this afternoon. The flag meeting follows a further troop mobilization by Myanmar along with heavy weapons at Tumbru border in Bangarban. The Myanmar army carried out blank fire twice on Thursday night along the zero line between Bangladesh and Myanmar, triggering panic among the Rohingyas and local inhabitants. An uneasy calm is prevailing in the area. BGP has also increased its concentration in the border. The district administration and BGP high officials visited the border area today. Meanwhile, former ambassadors and security analysts have described the additional mobilization of troops on border by Myanmar as a trap. They presume that the Myanmar government took the strategy to drive out the Rohingyas from the zero line. The experts also suggested to exert pressure through the UN to resolve the issue without heeding to any instigation. BNP thinks that there is certain foreign pressure on the government regarding an inclusive, fair and neutral election and Begum Kadazia's conviction. According to party policymakers, letters have already been sent to various organizations, including European Union, highlighting the party's stance. Meanwhile, BNP has announced to hold its rally at Shorawardudan, demanding the release of Begum Zia on the 12th of March, one day behind the schedule. Commerce Minister Tofail Ahmed has said the next national election will be held under Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina as per the constitution. Speaking at a reunion of Surgeon Johrul Haq Ahlo Alumni Association of Dhaka University, he said there is no scope of complying to any demand by any quarter. Food Minister Kamul Islam has dubbed BNP as the country's most corrupt political party. Speaking at a rally of Alim Olama at Chuhrawar Diwudan, he also urged all to reject them in the next election. Speaking on the occasion, our Milli Publicity Secretary Hassan Mahmoud said BNP is supplicating its foreign masters as they have no confidence on the people of the country. Jatiya Party Chairman H.M. Eshad has said that three party MPs would resign from the cabinet within a few days. Talking to newsmen at Rangpur Circuit House, he said becoming ministers was a wrong decision for Jatiya Party as opposition party. Replying to a query by journalist, Eshad said BNP is now devoid of leadership. Spiraling of dollar price abnormally has triggered unrest in the capital market. Analysts attributed the upward trend of dollar to liquidity crisis, increase in import, reduction of export, and slump in remittances by the expatriates. They apprehend that absence of effective steps would prompt rise in prices of essentials alongside inflation. Economists have advised the government to adopt long-term policies gearing up surveillance over the importers and exporters to deal with the problem. Mm -hmm. 
State Minister for Power and Energy Nostril Hamid Bipu has urged businessmen to sell important LP gas as per directive of the ministry till fixation of the price structure and not on their own will. After inaugurating a private LP gas station in the capital under joint initiative of Japan and Bangladesh, he admitted the failure for not fixing price structure. However, the State Minister opined that the Energy Regulatory Commission should fix the gas price. Expressing resentment over failure of the energy division to fix the price structure, the businessman sought government's assistance in assuring easy availability of important LP gas. Finally, news from abroad. The United States has condemned the latest test of nuclear weapons by Russia as a threat to the world. At a news conference at the State Department, Washington accused Moscow of openly breaching Cold War era treaties by developing a new generation of invincible hypersonic weapons and submarines. Russian President Vladimir Putin made the claims as he laid out his key policies for a fourth presidential term ahead of an election he is expected to win in 17 days' time. The weapons he boasted of included a cruise missile that he said could reach anywhere in the world evading detection. And that's the end of this bulletin, Al Hafiz.